Hi, this is Rochelle with Journal Life's Journey, and I am working on a pouch or giant envelope, giant pouch, using some packing paper. This was just an idea that I had and decided to sit down and see what I could come up with. So I'm folding the packing paper into kind of an envelope shape, but it's going to be fairly large and have gussets on the side. So I'll be using it somewhat as a pouch. Most of this project consists of me collaging different bits and pieces that I have on my desk or that I had printed previously using up some of my scraps. And so I will be creating a collage out of all the little bits and pieces. And I decided to bring you along with me on the journey. And then I will pop back in a little later to give you an update on the progress.
So in addition to just um, scraps of digitals, I'm using some book page, some music paper, and I'll also be using some bits and pieces of paper that I've made, as well as some washi tape. I'm using the Scotch Create glue stick to glue down everything on the packing paper. So here I'm just going through some of my washi tapes 
and I'll be using that to fill in some of the empty spaces and also to reinforce the folds. So now I'm just burnishing down everything, making sure everything is glued and secure. And I think we are done with the outside collage. I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine and stitch around the edges. I also matted the inside flap with some scrap paper that I had just laying around. And I created my gussets, uh, fan fold gussets. I'm inking those up with Vintage Photo. And then I will add those to the sides of the pouch. I used craft color cardstock to do the gussets. I'm using some Fabri-Tac to attach the gussets. And also on the inside fold of the envelope, I did reinforce that with some masking tape, as you see here. And here, I'm just gluing those gussets in place. So now I need a closure. I'd already punched uh, these little circles out and put brads in them. 
using some scrap paper. So I'm just pulling out a few that I can use to do a banker style string closure on the envelope. I'm going to do two closures since it is fairly large. And I'm just going to put those in place, measure where they need to be and poke a hole. Now, I do measure incorrectly <laughs> um, on my first try, but I do fix it and straighten it out. And I left that footage in so you can see where I made the mistake. So I didn't think of my closure before I put the envelope together. Ideally, I should have put the closures in place before uh, closing up the envelope, but thankfully it's large enough that I have room to do it even after the envelope or pouch has been created. So I was able to put those brads in. And then I do go back later um, with some pretty strong tape to cover the brads on the inside of the pouch. The brads that are showing on the top flap will be covered with some type of embellishment. Here I'm using some hemp cord to do the string closure. And that's basically it uh, for the base of this project. I'm sure I will be adding a little more to it, embellishing it and filling it up uh, with ephemera. I think I'm gonna make a journal for the inside. But again, this was just an idea to use up some of the scraps and bits and pieces that I had laying around. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll holla at y'all next time. Bye.